Have we had any cocktails for a while? I don't think we have. I think it's cocktails. Uh, but eventually, uh, there's other models might have different kinds of uh, drinks. Travis, you and I are going to meet up for some drinks. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, the API is uh, if you gave everything else is completely agnostic to, to what you know, input system is being used and what display system and estimate um, uh, ratio inside. Uh, you know, we just had to pick one and we ended up on a 20, uh, 30 inch diagonal, 24 by 18 uh, DLP based rear projection engine. Um, Unfortunately, I also can't comment on, on the specifics of, of future models. <laughs> Suffice to say, you'll, you'll, you'll probably be happy with the net results. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know where, with how long you have to pay, but this is actually a really good way of um, yeah, it's kind of a lot of things on this. So go ahead and let's order all the other things. So basically, what we've got is. DLP engine, five cameras, and um, uh, infrared luminant. Infrared luminant lights up the whole surface, and then the five cameras pick up what's going on on the surface. So it allows us to recognize single points, track objects, even multiple <laughs> simultaneous input. We can um, recognize objects. You can see the thing is thin versus thick. And um, we can also embed commands that sort of like kind of stamp various effects onto the surface. And that works by recognizing the tags that are on the other side of these. Was there any reason to go with spy cameras? Uh, yes. Any reason to go with what? Five cameras. cameras. Yeah, it does seem like a really obscure number, I realize that. Uh, the easiest way to think of it is um, just that uh, the, 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 the argument for multiple cameras is the easiest thing to explain, and that is that the um, throw is quite low. I mean, it is quite a short throw uh, okay. projection engine, which also means the projector's right in the middle. Um, and you know, as your field angle gets wider, you get more distortion. At the same time, we have a fairly high resolution camera system um, for its speed. Um, so if I drop it into uh, this mode, you can, you can see the images that the camera is picking up. Yeah. So, um, so you know that's you know it's actually essentially a 48 dpi system. Um, so by running multiple sensors in parallel, we were able to solve both the field angle and the performance issues. Um, and the, the specifics of the five versus four, we don't really go into that. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that doesn't. It's not meant to give you the best painting experience in the world. This is more the what, what we call hand turkeys. <laughs> um, but uh, so if I just drop it out, you can, you can see kind of a more raw mode here. So th these are actually, even though it's it's fine lines, it's, it's actually picking up ellipses. So if I do that, I'll get an almost perfect ellipse every time. Um, it just takes a, a, a connected object and takes a weighted center and two axes. Um, cool. It assumes everything's an ellipse. So one of our partners that we've talked about um, um, on our website. And, and you can you can do fun effects like. Um, they have a players program called Total Rewards yeah. that when you. Be the world's best artist. <laughs> Photos over here somewhere, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's basically the deal. Prime effect. Um, yeah. It's just a great way of explaining what's going on under the hood so that people can worry about the applications. We can also plan out our afternoon, our evening. How do you distinguish between what is actually on the surface and spike ammo? Um, so it depends a little bit on the mode of the application, but the easiest way to think of it is that if we are looking for fingers specifically, if they're off the surface, there's a, the top's made with a 12 millimeter thick piece of clear acrylic.